trying to get it to show my screen. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, hello and welcome to everyone who came here at Quilt Project. Um, this is something that I've become very, very passionate about over the last um, five weeks. I, uh, I'm looking outside at a beautiful view of sunny, lovely Sydney. Um, so it's a bit weird to do a webinar from a hospital bed, but we are going to do that. Uh, if you hear things in the background, that's just the other patients and things happening. So I'm going to ask for everyone's tolerance and, and, and understanding with regards to that. Um, I just wanted to give everyone all the information about what we're doing and I think this is such a really cool thing that we as a community can all kind of come together and support and hopefully down the track have all these amazing, wonderful, beautiful quilts that we can either donate to people who actually need them or raise the money and hopefully find a cure um, for, for the disease. Um, so here we go. So this is me. Um, this was me taken at a wedding last year. Unfortunately, I have now shaved off all my hair. Um, uh, and I'm taking these horrible steroids called presnithalone, which have made me turn into a balloon face. So you're all going to have to put up with this one because I think it's much nicer. Um, but I thought I'd share with you the lovely sunrise that happened this morning. So I've been in hospital now for um, just over five hospitals called Norwest Private Hospital. Actually, no, I'm going to rewind that back again. I should probably start to be... Guinea. So... Um, um, I jumped on a plane to go over to up to um, St. Louis, Missouri to go to AADs now. Uh, um, oh, chemo brain. Uh, Margaret, you're going to have to help me out here. Chrissy White. So at the end of my um, time in Mexico, I started getting a cough. It was a very dry, persistent cough. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel um, like I had the flu, I didn't have a fever, I just kept coughing all the time. Um, um, the pictures that you can see up here are pictures of Sydney that are from my, um, from my and a whole bunch of other things. It's, I think the connection might be a little bit slow, so um, you'll eventually get to see it. Um, but to get back to my story, um, once I got back to Australia, um, I had a day off uh, just to get over the jet lag and I made an appointment with my GP as soon as I could and it was first thing on Wednesday morning so that was Wednesday the 5th of, uh, of June uh, and by this stage my cough was getting worse and I was also getting quite out of breath so my doctor decided that I needed to get a chest x-ray which I did um, at the medical centre. Um, she then sent me over to pathology to have a whole bunch of blood tests done and then came back and um, she was very unhappy with my chest x-ray because it had appeared that I had a partially collapsed lung, my left lung. So she said to me, did, did anyone drive you here? I said, no, I drove myself. She goes, well, you won't be doing that. She called up in the ambulance and um, the ambulance took me to Norwest Private Hospital where, where I was admitted into emergency. Um, while in emergency, um, the request was that I go and have a CAT scan or CT scan of my neck, chest and, 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 and abdomen. And at this stage, the only thing that had been mentioned is that I possibly had, um, had pneumonia. Um, and um, I know my mum and dad were a little bit annoyed with me at the time because I just sent them text messages saying, now don't freak out, um, I'm in an ambulance on the way to emergency which of course is probably the worst thing in the world that a child can say to their parents. So I get up to emergency and five minutes later mum and dad are there. And we, we wait around and wait around and go and have my scans, etc. and they move me to a bed. And then a couple of hours later, um, my admitting doctor comes in 
to see me with my x-ray and says to us, see this big thing that's in the middle of your chest, that's not supposed to be there. And um, then the, that lovely word cancer was said and pretty much our lives have been turned upside down ever since. So once that all happened, I was admitted into um, to the hospital and taken up to the, um, I think it was the surgical medical ward, I can't quite remember, uh, where they wanted to do a, um, a biopsy of, of, of the tumour that's in my chest. Um, and now the tumour wasn't small, it's quite massive. Um, I don't know what it is in inches, but it was 18 centimetres by 13 centimetres by 8 centimetres, pretty much taking um, a big chunk of my chest. And that's what had caused the collapsed lung. Um, and on the off chance, um, the doctor who was looking after me said, look, I think we might do an echo of your heart because uh, we, we can see a little bit of fluid. So they did the echo of the heart and a little bit of fluid turned out to be a hell of a lot of fluid. Um, and um, I had to, um, I was rushed straight to the ICU and, um, and had a team of about probably 15 doctors working on me and they put a drain into my heart to try and drain all the fluid. Um, around my heart um, because my heart was going into tamponade. It was beating about 170 beats per minute. But anyway, to cut a very long story short, I was in ICU for about five days um, and they ended up having to do a full biopsy. So a cardiothoracic surgeon came in and did a big chunk of the tumour so that pathology could look at it and they also put a drain into my lungs because my lungs um, eventually drained about six litres of um, fluid um, and then eventually um, they diagnosed me with, um, with, with leukaemia. Uh, I've since now been transferred to one of Sydney's um, best hospitals which is called St Vincent's Hospital. I have the most amazing team of doctors, psychologists, social workers, nurses who have been looking after me over the last um, uh, couple of weeks um, and, and, and helping me to start to fight this horrible disease that I've um, been um, prognosed with. So the disease that I've been um, diagnosed with is a, is a rare form of blood cancer called acute lymphoblastic um, leukemia. I'm just going to skip through. My connection is very, very slow. Um, but the, 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 the long and the short of it is that I'm looking for you our friends, our customers, our loved ones to help me out with this really awesome uh, program that I've come up with and that's what we've called Sunshine for All, um, the Leukemia Quilt Project. Um, and I'd like to try and raise awareness and money um, uh, and, and just information about what the disease is and what leukemia is and how we can help, um, uh, help those who are suffering from that. And my idea was for you guys to make a quilt block. And um, the quilt block I'd like to be, it will be an eight inch by eight inch quilt block. Um, I'm gonna come to the exact guidelines and everything that you need for the for the blocks in just a moment. Um, but um, I've started up a Facebook group page, um, which you can join, which has got lots of pictures of the blocks. It's a great way for you all to talk to each other um, if you have any ideas or you're looking for information or things like that. Um, and I'll have the information with regards to those, those um, websites a little bit later. Um, so my treatment for, for this disease is actually quite long. It'll take probably about two years. So we've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of time to work on this and get blocks made and quilts made up and, and different things like that um, so that um, I don't want anyone to feel rushed or um, anxious or anything. This is meant to be a fun, inspiring um, and, and, and something that we can do that's good um, for the community and, and hopefully I will be cured at the end of, of, of all these treatments. So here we come to the guidelines and the basics of what, what we're looking for. So I've mentioned just a moment ago that I'm looking for 8 inch by 8 inch blocks. Now, 
Now, an 8 inch by 8 inch block means that is the thinnest size of the blind. Understand how quilting works, etc. When you're making a seam allowance, making your block and use half inches by eight and a half inches. Centimeters by 21.59 centimeters. Uh, this is really important. Think about it. I can just put right sides together, seam with my quarter inch foot, and I know everything will be the perfect size. And now the blocks. I want quilt blocks only, no batting, no extra stabilizer, no extra interfacing. Um, I've found some people who uh, have volunteered to quilt the quilts, so it would be much easier if we just have quilt blocks, so just be fabric. Um, it also means that the shipping costs when they're shipped to wherever they're shipped are a lot less. Uh, someone asked, Can, are we going to be making the quilts with the jenny join technique? No, we will not. We will be making these quilts as a traditional quilt, so that's why I would. I only want um, blocks only, no batting, no interfacing, no nothing. So, what colours are we going to be making these quilt blocks? Well, the colour for uh, leukemia awareness is orange, so the main colour I'd like all the blocks to be done in is, is orange. And then the, the accent colors that can be used are pink and yellow. Um, someone asked, asked me if they could use a plain muslin or calico as the background for the block and then do embellishment in orange, pink, and yellow. Yes, that will be fine. Um, any block will be used. I will not discriminate. If you've never done a block before, if you've never quilted before, if you know nothing about it, please have a go. Um, it will be used. Um, one of the interesting facts about this disease, um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, is that it's the most common form of uh, cancer in children. So I'm hoping that we, we will be able to make some lap quilts or kids quilts that we can donate to kids who are in hospital suffering from this disease um, because it's the kids that don't know what's really going on. But the exciting thing for kids is they have a much higher cure and success rate um, with, with their chemotherapy um, protocol. Um, when you send in your block, please um, send in with your name and address and your contact details and any other information that you'd like to include. If you're, if you're dedicating your block to someone or you know someone who's gone through it, I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, and I'd like you to sign your blocks. I want everyone to acknowledge that they've, they've, they've participated in the program and, and, and to sign it. You can either sign it with a pen or you can embroider it or, or whatever it is that you'd like. Now, if you'd like to make more than one block, please go ahead. I've even got people who've said, I want to make a whole quilt. Please go ahead and make a whole quilt. Um, again, we've got lots and lots of time that we can do this. It doesn't have to happen overnight, and I don't want anyone to feel stressed about it. Um, include your friends, family, grandchildren involved. Um, I know my best friend Joey, she's getting her daycare centre involved where all the kids are going to make a block. My son Harvey's daycare centre, they're going to all have a go and make a block also. So there's so many different ways that we can engage people and, and get people involved and, and hopefully um, do some really, really fabulous things with, um, with, with, with this program. Um, now, I've had several people who have uh, volunteered to be staging places. So if you um, are in the United States, you can send your blocks to several different places. Um, if you join the, the Facebook group, it has all of those information and addresses listed up there. So um, if you're not on Facebook, um, you might want to join up and you can uh, join the Sunshine for All, the Leukemia Quilt Project um, group. Um, I'm having a website set up as well, which will hopefully be set up in the next two weeks. And so if you're not on Facebook, you'll be able to access all that information there as well. And I'll be trying to keep a blog up and running with, with what, what's going on um, with that. So um, if anyone knows anyone in the media, I'd love to try and get the media 
are involved to see if we can get some more exposure. I've contacted any contacts. If they want to drop me an email or a Facebook message, that would be uh, perfect. Um, and this is a work in progress. It's nothing is set in stone. Um, I want this to be enjoyable for everyone. I want it to be uplifting and motivating. And if you feel stressed at any stage, just stop. My motto in classes is finished is better than perfect. And that's something that I want us to continue with with this program. Um, it, it's fun. It's, it, it's just something that we can all work together um, as a community to, to, to do something. Um, and I do have to confess that this is a very selfish pursuit for me also because it's um, been the most wonderful distraction sharing this with everyone on Facebook and I truly appreciate everyone's support and love that you've given me over the last five weeks um, with regards to my diagnosis and my, my treatment. Um, I'm not going to lie, the chemotherapy isn't the funnest thing in the world. Um, the side effects from the different things are, are um, often quite scary. I've lost the sensation in my fingers, so they have to stop, stop one drug. I, the prednisolone, which is the steroid, is driving me absolutely crazy. It's made my face go all fat and I've got pains in my stomach, but it's all for the greater good. Um, and, 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 yeah, so here is the address if you're wanting to send something directly to me here in Australia. It's all just being sent to Mum's house. Um, if you're not writing this down or it's not coming through fast enough, um, this webinar is being recorded uh, and it will be uploaded to Facebook and to YouTube and to the website once it's up and running. Um, so please don't feel stressed if you haven't got all of that information just yet. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please just drop me an email. Um, if you see any inspirational pictures or quotes or words or colours or anything like that, please post those photos up onto the, um, onto the group page as well. I know we all love seeing these pretty inspiring pictures and things like that. Um, and if you haven't, if you aren't my friend on Facebook, um, been sending me wacky socks. So I have a different pair of socks that I wear every day and it seems to have been um, kind of going a bit out of control. So it's a lot of fun. I've had socks sent to me from everywhere. So this next slide, when going through chemotherapy, there's or this treatment that goes for about two years, it's all broken up into different stages and at, at this point in time I'm in the induction stage. So my leukemia presented itself in um, my thymus gland um, which is in, in your chest and um, my, my leukemia is very acute because this tumour grew uh, in about a month taking up a huge chunk of my uh, chest cavity and when the slide comes up, oh, what's up, um, um, is what was with highlighter. So you can see this is my tumour and that was three weeks ago and then this appeared and that was the goal for this first stage. So the tumour has actually gone into remission and um, I can't tell you how excited I am that that has, um, that that, that has occurred. So I'm very grateful to, to everyone out there who's been sending all their love and support and to, to all my doctors who've been looking after me. And um, making sure that, that I'm getting the best treatment that I can. Make me very dry, so I apologise if I... Oh. Come on. 
Great call, Tony. Okay, just to, to let you know what is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's a very rare uh, cancer of the blood. Uh, too many immature white blood cells from the lymphoid family called lymphoblasts are in the blood. blood and bone marrow. So basically what happened with me is that the thymus gland in my chest and the tumour wrapped around my heart, it wrapped around my aorta and I cannot tell you how excited I am that this horrible are uh, gone. But this, that's kind of like, you know, all the background and now we've got the fun stuff. People have already started making their blocks and I know that they've been having a lots and lots of fun. I, I don't have the people's names um, underneath the blocks but um, I'm They've all been signed, so um, we'll get started. So this is just to show you what people have been doing, um, making the blocks with the quilts. Um, I'm very, very excited that um, the American Sewing Expo, and this is a show up in Novi, Michigan, Janet Prey, um, the organizer of the show, I was supposed to be one of the keynote um, teachers, and obviously I, I can't travel while I'm doing my um, all of my um, my my treatment, etc., uh, and she would like to partner with with me and do a display of all of the blocks that we've received so far at the show. And she's also going to set up areas where people who attend the show can make blocks to be included in the quilts and to be included in the program. And I'm extremely grateful uh, um, for her kindness and generosity in wanting to um, participate in this and and and, and try to include me in the show as much as possible. Now some of the blocks that you, you, you will be seeing have been made by kids and I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, and, and you can do pretty much um, whatever you want. Um, this is another one where they put fabric and paints and different things. I don't care if you put, I know I have a friend who's a mad beater, he's going to bead some blocks and different things. Um, so you know the sky's the limit, you can pretty much do whatever you want just sticking to the guideline that the finished size of the block needs to be cut to eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches. It won't be easier for us so we don't have to um, square everything up. And about four or five different um, and working on them and, and things like that. A um, leukemia awareness ribbon, um, which is a free download up on the, um, the, the Facebook group. Um, I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook, so I, I will have everything added to the, um, to, to the, the website once it's up and running. Now, I'm going to do a huge big shout out to um, a Glenn Tuvey. He's designing the website for me free of charge. He's an absolute champion. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty amazing once it's all set up. Uh, so I really, really have to thank uh, him for, for doing that. Sorry, my connection's just a little bit slow. But um, we're getting through there. Through there. Um, so I, I got some good news. My doctor's just to go home for a couple of weeks on Monday and do some of my treatments um, as an outpatient, um, which I'm very excited about because after five weeks in hospital, you tend to get a little bit of cabin fever. Um, and this one, bald is sexy. I hope it is. My hair hasn't fallen out yet, um, and so we'll, we'll see what happens, but um, I quite like that one. I thought it was very cute. Have you seen that one yet? Oh, okay, I'll slow down a bit. Um, but I just want to say once again thank you to everyone for all your time, your love and support. There's no way I would be getting through this without, without all of you guys, but I really have to um, do a huge big shout out to my family and my friends. Um, Mum and Dad have been absolutely beside themselves with worry and fear.
and I say, just to say thank you for. Um, it turns out that she is a um, teacher, so um, I do feel very blessed in pointing my way. My blood, my white cells are fine, my red cells are fine, um, and I think I've just been very blessed that they've been able to catch that that, that they want to treat it. Um, it's interesting my protocol because I kind of fit in this limbo land between children, adolescents, and adults, um, and because of my age and my health. Um, they're treating me with a uh, paediatric protocol um, and the reason they do that is it's a much more intense uh, and difficult protocol but they get a lot more results. Um, the doctor, my doctor, Dr. Dodds, came in and said, yep, it's going to get worse, it's going to get worse, you're going to feel like worse. I was going to swear but I didn't um, bit my tongue. Um, he, he, he just said, you know, it, it, it is going to get worse. So. I just encourage you all to have a go, make a block, um, and 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 I just wanted to say thank you for all for for attending and coming to to the webinar, um, and and for all your love and support. I'll be up on Facebook all the time, posting my wacky socks, and hopefully amusing everybody, um, and. Um, and we've just got a couple more of the box to go. But um, I'm just so excited that people have really jumped in and, and are wanting to participate. Oh, I know one, one thing I did want to say. If you are a part of a quilt guild or your sewing club or whatever, I would love it if you could go into your quilt guild or your store in the afternoon and make, um, make some blocks for this really awesome program uh, so that we can um, help support people with with cancer and leukemia and, and, and hopefully um, come up with a cure. Um, now I've got a couple of very good friends who are online. Is Margaret there? Hello, I'm here. Do you want to say hello? Hello everybody. I am so proud of you, Simon. You are absolutely awesome and I'm sorry you're going through this terrible journey, but oh my gosh. You're changing the world as you go. So thank you, and I love you, and I miss you. I love you too, and I miss you as well. And do we have Patty there? Yes. <laughs> Would you like to say hello, my darling? Yes. Um, you are uh, just an un unbelievable. Your positive attitude, and it's it's just good for everyone to see and how great it makes us feel and keep posting all your fun stuff. I love the crazy socks and all the other little silly things when you walk, get out of the, escape from the hospital and go on your ventures and all of that. We miss you, Sai. Yeah, I miss everyone as well. So I've been working on um, a, a quilt which, which I will eventually turn into a, um, an embroidery collection. Um, and, and it's a quilt that I'm going to, to auction off to raise money. And when I say auction off, I want it to raise a, a bucket load of cash because it's going to be a, an amazing quilt with a lot of work in it. Um, and, and at the end of the day, research needs money, and that, that's, that's, that's what I, I would like to try and do is, is to you know, really try and make a difference. And, and I, eventually I'd like to just keep going as a... ongoing program. I'd love it if um, we could do an exhibition of the quilts at a show, exposure of, of, of what this disease is and, and how we can help people um, in the future and, and make it a, a, a pleasant and, well, a less intrusive um, experience. So this is um, uh, my, my, one of my online buddies, Bonnie who are we are going to call Bono, because she accidentally registered as Bono instead of Bono. Yarns and colors and threads and that is thing. That's such a beautiful shot to give you some inspiration of, of colors and different things that you can do um, when you're making, um, when you're making your, oh, it hasn't come up yet, sorry. Um, I'll, I'll talk, oh, oh, here we go. And of course my dad's trying to call me on the other line.
on both the website when it's up and running and on the Facebook group. So I've had the logo digitized, which you can see at the top. Let me see if I can find my little highlighter pen. Highlighter pen. So you've got the logo being done up here. I've digitized the little sun. And then the lovely Jojo has digitized a, um, a leukemia awareness ribbon. So these are free and you'll be able to download them and use them however you want. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that will give you some more inspirations on things that you can do or use with, um, with, 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 with the designs. I don't want that. Erase all and normal. So thank you. That's it. Um, I wanted it to be short and sweet. Um, you, uh, drop me an email, simon at jennyhaskins.com. We'll probably have a sunshine for all email address at some stage as well, but that's the easiest one. Did I say it wrong? Simon at jennyhaskins.com. Um, but um, I, if you're not on Facebook, jump on Facebook. Um, do, a, do a search for Sunshine for All and you'll see all of the blocks and different things like that. Um, um, but apart from that, oh, oh yes, so no, there's one other thing I did want to ask. Um, I'm looking for donations of fat quarters. Uh, and this is for the sit and sew that's happening at the um, American Sewing Expo, which is in Novi, Michigan. So if you or, or your local sewing store or quilt store or whatever would, would be able to donate, you know, like a dozen fat quarters in orange, pink, and yellow, that would be absolutely fabulous so that at the show people can make up um, blocks um, and, 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 and participate in the program. But um, I'm going to pass it over very quickly to Mum because she's been sitting here very patiently um, letting me do all the talking, but I know she would like to say hello. But um, before I do, I just want once again just to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone's love and support because um, five weeks ago I never would have imagined in a million years that I had leukemia, but you guys have all helped me get through it and, and I will be forever grateful um, for your kindness, your love and your support. And I love you all. And his mum. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm sitting here. You know, when I do webinars, he won't. He won't. Simon won't do them. So there is no excuse now. He can do all the webinars in the future. And um, um. I don't know what he would have done without it and I am thinking that he has so many great and fabulous ideas that are now bubbling out of his little chemo brain as he likes to call it and I was speaking to another friend the other day who was an artist and he said when you're on all these drugs you have these wonderful creative ideas so I cannot wait to see what pops out of his little brain. Thank you all and love from me and here's Sai. One thing I did forget to say is if um, I'd be happy to, to do, sorry, the, the chemo makes me stutter sometimes. I would be happy to do more uh, webinars in the future about the program if people want. Just drop me an email or just say on Facebook, yep, we'd, like, we'd love to hear from you again. And, 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 and we can definitely do that. Um, but so, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting the program. Look, we have 420 attendees, so if I can get 420 blocks, imagine how many quilts we can get out of that. Um, wow, Mum said we had over, over 450 at one stage. So um, thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to keep you lot any longer. Uh, but to say I love you all, thank you all, and I know we can make a difference, and thanks. All right. Bye, everyone.